What's going on guys? John the High Tech Guy here. Today we're going to be talking about how to move photos from your iPhone to a memory stick. Right? So as we all know, or if you don't know, the iPhone is not upgradable. It doesn't have a you know micro SD card slot or anything like that. So we can't and if you take a lot of pictures or, or videos like I do to create or anything like that or just like to take pictures or video eventually your phone is going to fill up you need something uh, external uh, memory stick or card or you want to be able to take your your pictures and transfer them to your PC laptop uh, whatever right uh, hard drive external hard drive whatever so what we're going to do today is we're going to be talking about a cool little gadget that I found uh, that will enable you to be able to do that transfer videos from your iPhone and I'll show you a great little uh, device that I found it is a memory stick uh, it's a it's a flash drive for the iOS and Android okay so not only is it just a flash drive right check this out this is pretty cool right it's got the lightning connector right and the USB right so it's got you plug this in you download the app you plug this in into your iPhone pretty cool huh iPhone uh, first you download the app and uh, I'll leave a link in the description below or you can go up here and to uh, johnnythehightechguy.com slash iPhone flash drive okay um, and what you would do is you for this one I got this one from AliExpress I'll leave a link to that but I'll also put in the link uh, a similar one I found on Amazon the only bad thing about using um, the AliExpress is that like it takes forever to get here it took like two weeks and I kind of forgot about it till I got it and I was like oh cool I forgot about that uh, so if you want it faster it might not have the same uh, app or anything like that from the one Amazon but you know it and it's more expensive so uh, this one here that I I bought was on AliExpress was for like 14 50 like 15 bucks or so uh, free shipping uh, but the one on Amazon is like 23 bucks so it's considerably more expensive but if you need it faster you're going to get it faster right so either way whatever uh, but just to let you know it might not have the same app but let me show you the one I got from AliExpress anyways so this cool little USB drive that has the lightning on one side and the USB on the other it also works with uh, Android phones as well because this little cool little thing is it pops out Check that out. Look at that. It's got the Android connector there. Isn't that cool? But for our, our purposes, what I'm going to show you today is how you're going to use this to transfer the videos from your phone to this device. Then you can take this device, put it into any device that handles USB. Transfer files, huh? How cool is this? This one in particular I got was the 128 gig drive. It goes all the way up to 256, but uh, 128 for me is just fine. Uh, but whatever, up to you. So let's go ahead and all I I had to download the uh, iFlash HD app. Okay. Um, but like I said, it might be a different app if you buy the one from Amazon, whatever. Uh, they all, they're all the same thing. The most important thing is that you get this, you get this, uh, cool little double flash drive, whatever, this iPhone drive. Uh, does the USB, does the lightning connector. You don't need to buy a, um, a lightning adapter like some of the videos that I saw because I had this problem and I was researching it and I was like man what do I do they're talking about buying this expensive uh, lightning connector cable thing and I was like no nah, I don't want to do that so this is what I found and I'm glad I can share it with you guys so install the app go to the app store install the app that they suggest um, let's plug this thing in 
Okay, you plug it in into your slot there, your lightning connector, like that, like so. Okay, here in a second, it'll ask you, do you want to allow or ignore? I'm going to, you want to allow or ignore? I'm going to allow. Okay, and then you get the interface, right? Uh, the interface is pretty intuitive. The important thing here is the the one on the bottom is the the are the icons on the bottom. Uh, this one is the device storage, and this one is the app storage. So you can see how much room is filled up on your app. Mine's kind of full, and I want to move some over to the uh, device. The device means this. Okay, that's what the device means. So you can look at your albums. Check that out. All your albums of your uh, pictures, uh, your videos, um, whatever. Uh, you can back up. This is the backup. Not back up your phone or anything, but back up your contact list. Uh, you can do your movies. Uh, you, you go through your library. You can do your mo you know, movies. Uh, you can record. You can... Uh, do uh, take pictures okay sorry about that let me show you again uh, you can record okay onto the device itself you can take pictures onto the device itself uh, you can do video which is really cool but and, and it's uh, it's very straightforward um, I'm going to, and then we're going to click on device storage here. Okay. Um, I'm going to transfer some files. So those, those are my contacts that I've backed up. If you can see that, I'm going to go ahead and create a folder. So I click the little plus up here to create. And I'm going to call that, um, videos. Fish videos. Fish videos, or you call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it mine fish videos because I'm going to transfer some fish videos. Uh, if you haven't checked out, if you like uh, tropical fish, check out my channel, uh, Tropical Fish Guy. I'll leave that in the link. I mean, if you like tropical fish, you know, this is a high tech show, but I'm also the tropical fish guy, so whatever. Um, so I've got the fish videos folder created. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to do the album, click on album again, All right? And then you can pick your albums. Right now I'm going to pick uh, videos, as you can see, maybe. I've got 44 videos, 44 videos, okay, that I need to transfer. Um, I'm going to show you an example. I won't transfer them all to you, uh, all of them to the device, but I will pick a couple. Uh, the Cooley Loach one is cool. Uh, I'll pick that one. Oh, sorry. First, you got to click the select. So I'm going to select. Then you'll be able to select. You can select all. I'm not going to select all, but you could. Um, you can pick uh, videos or pictures, uh, whatever. So. I'm just going to pick this one, okay, and maybe this one. I think they're both the Cooley Loach, whatever, but I picked those. You can see that there's the check mark on there. I'm going to say done right there, and it'll it'll ask you. You want it on the app device or the app storage or device storage? Uh, I want to save it off to the device storage, okay? Device storage, it'll ask me which folder do I want. I'm going to do it to that folder that I just created, Fish Videos, right? And then all I'm going to do is click on Paste. I mean, this is real easy, real easy. Paste, and it'll it'll show me I'm um, copying files, right? I don't know if you can see that. It'll give me the percentage of files that I'm copying. And then when it's done, it will say, copy finished. Okay. Guess what, guys? We're done. So if I click back into the device, boom, 
and I click back into the folder, fish videos folder, boom, you will see there's those two videos. It doesn't, um, now you can do this with some soft software like uh, Handbrake or something like that, but those software things, a lot of them what they do is they um, turn the videos into a lower quality video. Now these videos are, you know, the same video uh, in the same uh, bit rate, the same quality as what you took it. So that's why I prefer this than a software solution. Anyway, so you you can be done. Okay. Boom, boom, you're done. Now, I exit out of there. I take this, I take this cool drive. Now it's a USB, right? I'm going to stick this into the computer and save my files off, use my editing software, edit my files the way I want it, upload my video to YouTube, and I'm done. You know, whatever. But, you know, you can keep this as a backup, you know, to all your to all your uh, videos or your p pictures. Uh, this works for any type of file. Um, you know, what, what does it say? Flash drive. I mean, this is the box it came in. Uh, it says, the flash drive allows you to transfer your files quickly and easily without any concern about file types, converting or syncing between all your iOS devices and Macs, PCs. Okay. And it's made for all the iPhones, uh, features, you can do iOS, external. Right here on there it says storage for Android too. So, you know, you can, according to the box, I mean, I don't have an, I do have an Android, so I can maybe test it later, but uh, my primary concern is for the iPhone itself. So, you've got your, you've got your data here, your pictures and your photos, plug it in, and then you go right uh, copy your files onto your PC now you have backups uh, then you can go into your phone and then delete your videos get you some space back or just do everything directly from the uh, from the USB drive but you know you don't want to walk around with the USB drive always connected so I manage it I delete the, the videos from from the phone I take this stick it into the PC and then bam you got your uh, Got your videos on your PC nice and neat in any folders that you want, obviously, and uh, you're good to go. So, cool little flash drive. Put the link up here, like I said, uh, johnnythehightechguy.com slash iPhone flash drive, and I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, guys, this is a lifesaver for me. Um, I had, and, and if you want to, you know, originally, let me show you what I did. Originally, I took the, uh, you, uh, the, um, and you can do this too. You, you can take the, the, the cable, right, the, the lightning cable uh, that the iPhone came with, and you can plug it in, and then you can take that, you can take the, the cable, right, you can plug it into your phone, and then you can take that USB and plug it into your computer and say, hey, Jenny, why, why, why don't you just do that and instead of uh, getting, getting that? Because when I'm transferring a lot of files, what you're going to see is you're going to see, or what I saw and what a lot of people see, is an error called the, de the device is unreachable, right? After so many uh, times I get that error, I'm like, man, forget this, forget that. Let's just go ahead, and you, I've had no errors with this. I've had no problems with this, so I want to share it with you guys, okay? Hopefully you guys like it. Give me a like, uh, comment, tell me what you guys use to transfer your files from your phone to your computer. Um, and, you know, upgrade your, your iPhone storage also, right? I mean, because we don't have, I mean, like Android, right, on my, on my Android phones. Most Android phones nowadays, these are old. Uh, there's a micro USB slot. Leave me a comment. Tell me how you, uh, question of the day. How do you, uh, manage your phones when they get too full? Okay. I'd love to know if there's something better. I'm always open for it, but this is what I'm sharing with you guys today. Uh, so how do you upgrade your iPhone storage? How do you upgrade your, your storage is the question of the day. Uh, definitely leave me a comment. Subscribe to the video. 
please give me a like if you find this useful. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate your comments and stuff. Uh, answer every every comment. Uh, let me know uh, what you think. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And as always, stay high tech. Peace out.